Hi y'all, it's James Neal. Today we got a new present, a new toy in the mail. And I was going to show y'all us unboxing it, getting it put together, and riding it. But now I think it's going to turn into a what do people do when stuff is on the truck. It looks like somebody shot a cannonball through the side of this bike. Look at this. Look at that foot pig. Completely bent double. How does that even happen? There's random nuts and bolts. I'm assuming that that goes to this support that is completely bent and bowed out. Well, let's unbox this thing. We can get an eye on the bracket. There it is. There's the bracket. Right there. So they have welded a bracket that hangs down to put the light on. But then when they ship it, they mash it down so hard without the shock attached that it is bad. I tell you what. Give me about five more minutes. We'll see if we can get this thing fired up. All right, getting ready to put the shock on it. Look how lovely that shock is. Just look, just look how lovely. And check out that motor offset. It does say it's a thousand though. At 3000 RPM, 36 volt, 27 amp. All that sounds right. Uh-huh. Look what I found when I was putting the front end together. That goes into there for braking. So that the motor won't run while the brake is pressed. 30 amp fuse holder. Oh yeah. Look at that one that I found. Busted up. Well, it looks like it's supposed to go up into these two little holes. Look at all that. Completely walled out. That'll be fun. So far, I give this thing a D. I haven't even got to putting the batteries back in straight. I haven't even got to testing it yet. Got us a fuse. Oh, got us a baby. See if we get one of these nice little turn on arcs. Yep. Well, that's a good sign. Oh, she goes. She's 
ship has a dead battery. That's of course. Let's keep them fresh. Key off. Key on. We're supposed to have a low, I guess a high and a medium setting. Let's cut it on high. Now let's see what she does. Well, that made it sound different, didn't it? You don't like it? You don't like riding them? You don't like working on them? She just woke up. Let's go get a bite to eat and let this thing charge for a few minutes. Oh yeah. The kickstand. Yes, I'll have to bend that back out. Here's one for you. I just found the... I guess you would call this the VIN number. It is the VIN number. It actually has a VIN number. I've got it sitting on all... All its glory. Seems like it's got air in the tires. Brakes work front and back. The one brake lot works when you use the front brakes because the rear one is broke. Might have to get a different one for that. That, you can tell that's a little sideways, but we'll live with it. Alright, let's ride it. I put it together, I wrote it, the baby has tipped it over, <laughs> she ran away. <laughs> this is an high mode, if you can hear me. It's a little soggy. We just got that freak storm that come through. Luckily, we didn't get any of the tornadoes off of it. I don't think I've got it up past about 15, and that was downhill. Let me uh, go double-handed here and see what we can do. All right, so it's been a couple of days since I took delivery of the bike. Um, my niece hasn't got to ride it yet. She hasn't been here. But I let it charge, and I've got to get out and ride it. And I have rode it in high, medium, and low. In low, it'll do about two miles an hour, which is too slow to even stand up on, so it's pointless. Medium, it's all right. That'd be about for like a three, four-year-old that can that can ride a bike without training wheels, or even put training wheels on it, which they make, which would be awesome. I have a feeling this is going to have training wheels for this thing soon. Um, high, it'll do about 17. That's about what it'll do on flat ground 17. Um, front suspension works pretty good. Rear suspension, I'm too big for it. So maybe with like the, the rated 90 pound rider, it'd be all right. But it needs a, a decent rear shock. Um, contacted Upsy. They're going to send me a new front fender, battery bag, foot peg, and brake lever. Yeah, I think that was about everything that was broke on it. <laughs> oh, and the tail light they can't send me a new tail light bracket because it was welded on um let me flip this camera around and let me show you the bike now out in the daylight now that i've got to ride it for a second so here it is so now that i've got to play with it and look at it here's what it is it's a 50 cc gas dirt bike frame front suspension with a redone rear swing arm done pretty much as cheaply as possible everything on it is literally as cheap as possible but the way I look at it think about it like this you've got the motor and controller batteries and the entire bike that I spent $500 on if you're gonna go out here and build it yourself and you just happen to have a 50 laying around you could do it for about 300 350 dollars if you got cheap stuff is it worth it yeah I think it was worth it it's worth me not having to build it. <laughs>